Get in there, Liverpool. That is how you bounce back from a disappointing draw at Arsenal. 5 0 win there over Swansea City. Swansea were absolutely dreadful. Probably the worst team I've seen at Anfield this season, at least since Arsenal came to Anfield and lost 4 0 in August. But that was exactly what we needed. It was pretty predictable, I suppose, in that once the early goal went in, yes, we. We were a bit sort of lethargic for for a long time after that, but as soon as the second one goes in, you know it's going to be a bit of a rout and uh, predictable and loads of goals is exactly what we're looking for. Um, no one's going to be surprised by beating Swansea 5-0 at home, but it's just a lovely, lovely result. Some great goals in there as well. I think everyone just played really, really well. It was just a nice, easy um, routine. Didn't have to waste too much energy. Just a lovely, lovely win. Uh, Coutinho opens it up with, with that wonderful, wonderful strike. It just to get that much power and bend on the ball from that distance uh, uh, was just majestic. Uh, Firmino gets a couple of nice goals. Oxford Chamberlain scores a lovely one, and Trent with the with my favourite goal of the day, just stabbing at home with, with his toes almost off the bar and in. Lovely moment for him, the right back. He was he was like a man possessed second half, just absolutely tenacious everywhere. Great going forward. Uh, did pretty well defensively, and Liverpool win five 0 go back into the top four. And Firmino started to get among the goals. I think it's six and six in the league for him. I think I know it's four in the last three. So he, not only is he doing a lot for the team and making a lot of room for the attacking players and getting a lot of assists, he's scoring a lot of goals now. It's a nice little poacher's goals. Two tap-ins today. Lovely, lovely stuff. Love that from the number nine. And other than that, you can only be positive about pretty much everything that happens. So I'll go through the player ratings. See my mini, they actually makes a few saves. Um, no difficult ones, but you know... <laughs> He made a meal of two uh, at Arsenal the other day, so it's good for him to keep a clean sheet. And uh, you know, long term, he, he might not be the answer, but you know, we need, we need him to be confident in the short term. And he gets a clean sheet here, makes a few saves. The one at the end probably being the best one uh, from Tammy Abraham. Trent Alexander Arnold, so admittedly, gets a, a seven. Trent Alexander Arnold gets a nine. He gets his first Premier League goal, I believe, at Anfield in front of the cop. And it was a cracking goal too, and he was just a real threat throughout. I really enjoyed his performance today. And Liverpool have got a lot of good options at right back going forward, especially when Klein, Klein comes back. There's three there that could conceivably play and do an equally good job, although in you know pretty different ways. Uh, Matip back into the side, very little to do to be honest with you. He was fine, seven out of ten. Clavin again fine, seven out of ten. Clavin's actually been playing really well lately. Um, he obviously got a nod over Lovren today for whatever reason, whether it was a fitness thing or a rotation thing. Um, but I'm pleased for Clavin, he's, he's really settling in. This is his longest run as a starter on Liverpool side, so fair play to him for that. Uh, Robertson, very good. Um, can't really fault him again going forward. He was good, not, not as good as Trent maybe, but some nice deliveries and just all-round comfortable on the ball. I'll give him an 8 out of 10, why not? Uh, Emre Chan was maybe one of the weaker links, to be honest. I thought he did well, got better as the game went on. I mean, he picked up a knock in the first half, and I thought it looked quite a bad one. He was limping around for a good few minutes before he actually went down on the floor. And at the start of the second half and at the end of the first half, he couldn't quite get to the pace of the game. And I thought I thought the injury was still lurking, but he, as Liverpool got you know more and more goals, he started to settle more into it. And he was fine, really. It was just... Um, I thought at times he was a bit slow on the ball, but like I said, I think he got a bit of a knock and he was struggling a bit with that. So, 7 out of 10, no, no real concerns. Uh, Genie, I thought, was particularly enthusiastic today. I thought his positive runs and his, his quick turns and, and just his touches were very positive. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, hasn't scored many goals as of late. I, you know, I'd like to see him maybe getting in, in the box more and be more of a threat uh, in front of goal, but I thought it was very, very good today. Um, 8 out of 10. Oxley chamberlain was quite quiet on the whole. Uh, I guess, again, he got into it more as it went on when more space opened up, but he gets his goal, a lovely finish, his first one at Anfield. Um, so let's give him an 8 out of 10. Uh, it goes to the front three. Salah uh, lays on a couple, um, doesn't score today, but, I mean, he was still awesome. He really was. It's an 8 out of 10 from him. Coutinho was sensational. Uh, a wonderful goal, an assist, just some of his passing and his skills and everything you associate with Philip Coutinho, um, brilliant, 9 out of 10. Firmino, man of the match, 9 out of 10 as well, uh, just there, uh, just Coutinho, just for his work rate and uh, two two goals for him and he's in great form, great goal scoring form, you fancy him to score every time he gets on the pitch now which is a good position to be in um, and you know he's, he got taken off early, well early-ish on sort of the three quarters of the game uh, mark so he, I'm sure he's going to start against Leicester hopefully. Uh, same with uh, Salah and, um, and Robertson that came off as well. So 
hopefully we, we, we've got as much of a fit side as possible when, when we play Leicester in a few days time uh, the subs come on uh, Solanke just, the poor guy just never going to score for Liverpool is he um, uh, he gets in the right positions it was just inches away from one that got fired across the goal another one that he actually got on the end of and the keeper just managed to do enough and then the, that volley from Coutinho's pass over uh, great technique just whiskered wide uh, Milner comes on and does pretty well um, so Slanky 7 Milner 6 and I'm struggling to remember who else came on Lalana, he was pretty lively doesn't quite look himself end product wise but you know 6 out of 10 good to see him get some minutes hopefully he gets some more against Leicester and maybe in the middle of January or, or something or maybe against Everton he might be fit enough to start uh, but you know, we've got plenty of options in the sort of attacking midfield position and with Oxlade Chamberlain playing well and and Coutinho dropping in there when needed when Mane plays so look very positive game as I say, for me no man of the match, leave a comment with your man of the match and your general thoughts on the 5-0 win over Swansea. Nothing to get carried away about because they are the worst team in the league and we should be beating these teams relatively easily, and we have. But it's good to be back in the top four. It's good to be scoring goals again. It's good that the goals came from various sources. Oxley, Chamberlain, Firmino, Trent and Coutinho. Nice mix there. Just need to get Slanky a goal at some point. Um, but very happy. You know, a very positive result on Christmas, on Boxing Day, and we go to Leicester. We go to Leicester at Anfield, uh, a game I'll be at, so it'll be a day trip from that. When it, when it gets uploaded, I don't know, because I know there's a, some stuff going on after the game, which I'll be going to, so uh, try and get up on New Year's Eve, maybe, although I am going to be out and about there as well. So, But the preview will be before that anyway. Anyway, anyway, leave a comment with your man of the match, as I said, and follow my other socials that Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Subscribe if you are new. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.